Winds in the east, mist coming in. Like something is brewing, about to begin. Can't put me finger on what lies in store. But I feel what's to happen, all happened before. Making temperatures rise, hearts melt. Pulses race. This phenomenon goes by the name of Daytona. The brand new front wheel drive, Dodge Daytona. Be prepared for even more excitement per mile, more heartbeats per minute. Dodge Daytona. Dodge, setting new standards of performance. guys so welcome back thank you for hanging out spending a few moments here with me if you're new definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button i really do appreciate it now today we have some ev news i'm a little bit late to the table but before we get into that uh the video prior to this is about the direct connection website getting launched i don't believe that everything is loaded up on that website if you take a look there's some things that we know that are going to be happening that are missing already i believe it's the 392 stage kits the hellcat stage kits i believe the only thing loaded up right now are those red eye stage kits so not everything is is officially up yet regardless of which dodge you have you know there's going to be something there for you i i took a look at the 57 performance cam and just let you know that chrysler 300 was actually listed in there so uh, even though you know it's it's just for dodges or at least that that's what they say uh, if you have a 57 a 392 or a hellcat engine in your you know your jeep or your your chrysler 300 uh you will be able to actually use those performance pieces because let's face it these cars are just reskinned versions of each other so uh keep that in mind and uh you know if you have a minute definitely go check that out i'll put the link in the description uh, for that direct connection video you could look at the website now today i'm a little bit late to the ev news and you know unfortunately um you know i've been slacking lately it is what it is but dodge is planning on releasing a couple of evs uh to to go along with what we currently have and um you know one of my biggest gripes with ev is that when you step on the accelerator and you actually start moving uh, there's really no sound and you know you take a look at a tesla ripping down the quarter mile it it's very quiet okay i've driven in teslas and it's very quiet it's fast as hell but it's quiet and um you know it looks like dodge is going to be addressing that which is uh you know one of my biggest concerns and it's a large part of the driver experience is actually to hear something and um, it's not just going to be speakers making a sound because, you know, that that technology already exists. We've already seen uh, Tesla's having the ability to sound like a V8 or, uh, you know, a turbo six cylinder. And it basically it just loads up a sound and it coordinates with how you're driving and, and, and it kind of manipulates, um, you know, what it would sound like. This is actually a sound that's being um, produced by the electrical motors uh, that Dodge is, is is planning on doing. And, you know, from what it is that I, I've read, they're planning on amplifying it. So to me, it kind of reminds me of, let's just say, a supercharger wine. You know, when you start up the EV, it's not going to have that beautiful Hemi exhaust by any stretch. But when you're actually driving, you know, you hear that that wine and uh, you know the harder you step on it the more you hear that that supercharger uh wine amplified and i think that's what they're planning on doing uh there's not going to be any replacement for a cold start you know with these evs but at least with the the driver experience when you're actually driving it you can hear the something indicating that you're getting on it and um you know sound goes along with the performance and you know it's pretty clear that dodge understands that they understand that you know um there's there's got to be more to it than just a dead stop and then you launch and it's 
quiet. Okay. So, uh, that's one thing that I, it's nice to hear. And it's nice to hear that it's not a, some kind of a phony noise. Okay. Uh, I think it's, it's a little weird, uh, to have noises coming out of your speaker. If it's not real, you know, it's, it's just not a real noise that your car makes. So, um, I'm glad to hear that they're, they're working on something like that. I think Dodge understands their base and I think they're going to do everything in their power, uh, to make this as cool as possible. So, uh, now the intro, I want wanted to actually add that intro because I really feel like we're, we're seeing, um, the, the history kind of repeating itself. It's, it's quite interesting. Uh, the guys that I, uh, you know, that lived through the, the, the 60s and the 70s and watched those huge muscle cars uh, have to resort to basically going to four-cylinder turbos because, you know, the gas crisis and uh, new standards for for emissions and stuff like that. And it, it, this is funny because it's like we're reliving this exact, uh, what they went through. And I used to listen to my father, who is a huge Mustang guy, I know. Um, and, you know, he would tell me, uh, you know, all his stories about, you know, his, his cars and, and whatnot, and then, you know, having to let him, let it go. And, um, it's just interesting to see history kind of repeating itself. And, you know, I'm a firm believer that, uh, the cream always rises to the top. It always does, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. And, you know, again, there's going to be another advancement in technology and, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see the adaptation and, and whatnot. But, uh, I wanted to really weigh in on this, this EV sound. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I have to admit, and, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what Dodge has to, to ha, has in mind. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic weekend. And, um, you know, just good things. Good things.